Hello and welcome back to SRJ Plays Divine RPG. And today we have done a little bit of work in Mortum and guess what? We've got some shards and you know what we're going to do with those? I think you do. We're going to make yet another portal. This one goes to, I believe, Vethia. Vethia is... Oh, what did I do that for? What a waste. Oh my god. That's okay. Um, <laughs> we can make two portals now. Yay! <laughs> I'm rushing. So, that, I believe, is what the next portal should look like. But it isn't working, so... Um, Let's try making a standard. Actually, no. Let me let me go check the wiki, and I'll be right back. We'll see what I'm missing. All right, I just looked it up, and we need augite power and glowstone dust to light this baby. And it looks like we need two more augite fragments. So let's go back in here, and we'll get a couple more augite fragments, hopefully, and then come back out and see about getting into the next dimension. Um, the next dimension is actually different from the twilight dimensions. The five, five twilight dimensions are all samey same and uh, a little boring, um, but also cool in their own way. Um, I don't think I'd want to live in any of them, but uh, I don't know, maybe. But the next dimension is one where I believe you come in and you have no inventory. Ah, oh, basilisk. I don't want a basilisk. I don't want basilisks. I want something easy, easy to kill. Ooh, like you guys. Let's see if we can maybe... Yeah, one of you. Oh. Let's see how many of these guys we can kill. If I can get all of them, then that will be enough. Well, that's a nice little situation here. <laughs> um, so there are other dimensions to explore, and I have not really gone into many of them yet because they require a fair amount of going and getting stuff, but I may try to hit at least one of them before this series is over. And that means um, the end, possibly, if I can get the Eyes of Ender to open up the portal to the end, which would be cool, or possibly if I can get... Um, enough purple blaze powder. Purple blaze powder will help me open up a different portal. Wow, these guys are relentless and I am drunk. Go home, I'm drunk. I would love to kill one of them though, that would be nice. Come on guys. Oh, am I gonna die? I don't wanna die. Man, this effect is very disturbing. I hope nothing's behind me. Oh, there's another one. All right, come on, guys. You can die for me, please. There we go. Almost. All right. This should yield enough stuff. To, and of course, ironically, I will probably go... Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll actually use the portal. Because... I've always felt a little bit lame about just dying to get back home, even though it works perfectly fine. Um, I can't believe I turned all that auger into blocks. It's dumb, dumb, dumb. All right. Five. That should be enough. I'll kill you two, just for good measure. Come over here, please. Over here. Over here. Not you. And nothing. All right. Let's get out of here. Just back up here, I believe. Let's see if I'm right. Am I wrong? I don't know. I'm poor. I know I'll just die. It's just easier that way. Come to Papa. Give me a kiss. Mwah. All right, so we are ding back. 
and I need glowstone powder, which is down here. And this next dimension is, um, I don't know, I think it'll be kind of neat actually. I just gotta find my glowstone powder. And there we go, glowstone dust. And next we find out, look at that dream powder. Okay, dream powder dimension so far is that when you go from dimension to dimension, each time you get better stuff. If you get to here and then you use the stuff that you built, you got here to explore here, um, oh, what is it, Skythorn and then Mortum? Let's say you go out to the end or to the nether or to this place or somewhere, well not this place, but somewhere else, and you use up all your good equipment from here and you don't have stuff saved up from the earlier ones, you could have a cascading effect where suddenly you don't have the good stuff you need from here to survive there, so you gotta go back to here, but you don't maybe have stuff to survive here, so you gotta go back to here, and essentially you could wind up at, at the beginning again, having to go in here, uh, Eden, to go to the Wildwood, to go to Appalachia, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I'm gonna actually check my video settings before we go further. Normal, fancy, let's go to fast. I'm seeing a little bit of lag there. And let's try out our fancy pants new thing. Oh, look at that! Oh, it looks fabulous. Isn't that nice? All right. Um, we're going to lose our inventory. It's supposed to take a wild load, so let's jump in here and see what the next dimension is. Vethia. And we might spend a while in here, so let's just see if it wants to work. It looks like we are here, and our portal has spawned. It is very dark. And I don't know what... To, let me see, I've got no inventory and I gotta jump off of this to try to get down. So let's jump and see if we can survive. Ow. Okay, uh, we're in a new world and we have no inventory and if we die we come back out, which is nice. Um, I guess we'll try punching a block and see what happens. What do we get when we punch a block? We get nothing. Alright, so supposedly there is trading to be done here. Uh, which is cool. This is very dark, so I do hope you can see. Uh, I just broke something. Oh, 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 I've got a dream lamp. Okay. I don't know what to do with a dream lamp. Um, this could actually be neat because it'll be new, and I don't have anything from there. All right. Azuri. All right. Let's, uh, let's go check out stuff. There's something over... Th oh, there was something over there. Wow. All right, run away. I think I was just standing on something that hurt me. So I'm gonna, I guess, book it away from it. It's giving off light, which I like. Oh, I don't like you though. You look mean because you're walking at me in an intimidating way. So what are you? Where are you? Where are you? Are you, you are in front of me, but disappeared. I'm gonna walk this way and hope that I can have, oh, I see something, oh, oh, exciting, it's like a building or something. That is good, 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 good. But the thing, oh, okay, I've managed to lose the thing that was following me, which is cool, good. I'm underneath something here. Um, all right, well, I lost the thing that was following me, so I'm gonna, I guess, go, not this way. Um, oh, here's another one. Oh, there's a spawner in there. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> Let's find an entrance, I guess, and we'll go play with the spawner. So this is kind of cool because it's all different. I don't know what the heck. Okay, I'm underneath a pillar here. I hope this is light enough to be able to see. That would be sad if you couldn't see anything I was doing. Maybe I'll try to correct the light levels. Um, because otherwise, I don't know how you guys are going to enjoy this. Um, hey, two light lamps. All right, I don't know what the light lamps do. I got a feeling that you ki I'm going to let you hit me. Ow, okay. You are mean. <laughs> You're mean and nasty. Um, and I've got an effect on me, which makes me go fast, maybe? I don't know. Um, what I really want is an entrance to this place. Whoa. I'm still moving. I mean, I'm still being attacked. Let's 
let's go away from whatever it is that's attacking me. I'm assuming this is all programmatically generated, which means that wherever I go, it doesn't really matter. It's all the same. All right. Hey, we're in somewhere with something. Um, I'm going to put a lamp, lamp block there so that stuff can't come in after me, and let's explore this. We've got a little room here. I think these are ouchy, but I'm going to break one and see what they give me. Uh, fire crystal. All right, so let's take a fire crystal and put a lamp on top of it. Okay, that's not very exciting. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else there is. Let's see what other things there are here. We've got, I'm assuming I can't bring these blocks back out because it's like an inventory zone. All right, fire crystals basically look like glowstone blocks, which is cool. I can live with that. I assume when I get rid of this one, it goes dark. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see if there's anything buried under this. Let's see if I can ever get through this. I don't yet know about wood in here or tools, but whoa, oh, 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 you're a guy that's not attacking me. Crypt Keeper, you are safer down here uh, than where? I don't even know. I'm safer down here. Cool, thank you very much. Um, so it's dangerous out there. It's safe in here, and I need to figure out what I'm doing. Um, did I get anything from breaking that? I don't think I did. Let's break some of the blue stuff. Actually, let's break some of this. Let's see what this is. It's hard. Um, did I get anything? I don't know. Oh. Nothing down here, so I believe I'm out of luck. Um, that's okay. Let's go back inside. So the dream lamp is not very, very uh, illuminating, I must say, but that's okay. We'll spread out some of these guys, at least, so that we have some light in here. And, okay, what's this? Oh, uh, that is a tree. What is that? I suspect that there are other NPCs I need to interface with in addition to these guys. All right, so I know what that is. That's a giant freaking, that's a giant sword. Look at that, it's a giant sword. Cool. I don't know what I do with the giant sword, but um, yay. And um, there's a roof up there made of fire crystal. So it's like a nether almost, because we've got a top and a bottom. I wonder if this is a statue of some sort. Oh, wait a second. Uh, <laughs> Why am I moving this way? Am I being drawn to a... Is there a creature out there? There is a creature out there, right there, and I'm being sucked to him. He sucks. All right, well, that's disturbing. <laughs> Yay. Uh, let's... I guess we'll get a lamp, and we'll go down into the... Why? I don't want to... Stop pulling me towards you. All right. So a lot of this fire crystal will be helpful, but right now let's um let's see what's down here, because that fire crystal is giving off flares, which is weird. And it didn't drop one. So one of those didn't drop one, the other one did. That's kind of weird. Um, let's see if there's anything behind this staircase. I really wish I could break things easier. That would be nice. And I think I see something that might be another one of those. Oh, oh, interesting, all right. So we've got a spawner. I bet if I stand on this spawner, it'll hurt me. Oh, no. Okay, the fire crystal's not hurting me. This one is. It might be a, might be a uh, texture bug of some sort. But I'm not seeing anything spawn either. So, for whatever reason, this thing is not giving off stuff. And, oh. I've got another one in here with another thing. I wonder if this is bugged. I wonder if we've got a bug going on here or something. I'm being pulled this way because there's a monster up there and he sucks. So, and I can't get up 
there because he sucks so much. <laughs> I wouldn't say this mod sucks, but these these uh, these, these monsters certainly do. Um, let me try to get up in another way. Let's go over here and then. Nope, that's not going to work. All right. All right. Oh, I can't. I want to get over there. Wow, this is crazy. Oh, there we go. Okay, good, good, good. All right, we're free. And another room. And what's in another corridor? This is like a dungeon. But there are no monsters. Um, which is fine, because I don't have any weapons. So <laughs> I'm all right with that. Um, oh, is this the one I came in from? I bet it is. All right, so... All right, well, not a very exciting dungeon. Um, well, let's see what's behind this wall here. Let's get that, and then go through here, I guess. It's got to be something in here. I mean, maybe there's nothing. Maybe it's just wall. All right, aqua. I'm definitely gonna have to bump up the light levels in here because you guys aren't gonna be able to see. Supposedly, we're, we need to trade with someone in this dimension, and that's how we get stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know who yet, so I think it's gonna be a little bit of explore, exploring to figure this all out. Um, let's go back up because. God, this is weird. I'm being pulled to the to those guys again. I think. All right, let's get back out of here. Oh, oh my God, this, this this is incredibly annoying to be, not be able to walk anywhere. It's really freaking bothersome. Um, let me see. All right, let's go over here. We'll drop a dream dirt. And then we'll go back over here. And there we go. All right. All right. And how do I get out of here? Where's my out? There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. And let's get out. And can I eat dream dirt? Because I'm starting to starve. Um, <laughs> can I eat fire crystal? No. Can I escape and run away? Yes. All right. Oh, oh you're different. Are you friendly? Dream wrecker? That doesn't sound very friendly. Ow. No, he's not friendly. Let me get out of here. All right, and what are you? MM layer one, that sounds like a buggy. Take these, use them at an infusion table. Take what? Oh, 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 mysterious man gave me teaker lump. All right, um, excellent, we have stuff from a guy <laughs> and we need an infusion table and shut up. I guess I'm going to punch you because you only have 10 hit points. So punch, 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 punch. And do we have anything useful? We have dirty pearls. All right. That's exciting. And Crypt Keeper. Wow. And guys attacking me. MM layer one. Oh, wait, no, you're not. Don't tell anybody you saw me. Uh, okay. I won't tell anybody I saw you. Can you take these? Use them at an infusion table. Yay! All right, we got stuff. Uh, and by the tone of my voice, you can tell this is actually getting better. It's kind of new and different and exciting, and I'm not dead. Oh, actually, I'm almost dead. Let's eat some dirty pearls. No. Let's eat some teaker lumps. No. Let's starve to death. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to sign off now because I'm running a little late and we've got lots of stuff to go do now. We've got to go explore this place and try not to starve and figure out what the heck we're doing and possibly die and come back in and start again. Um, but yay, it's at least something different and I don't know what to do yet. I'm going to go do a little research. And um, yeah, thanks for watching this is RJ26 with um, an actually new and interesting part of um, Divine RPG that is not monochromatic. Yay. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.